for another reading. For this reading, we are reading chapter 22. Um, in the previous chapter, I hope you paid attention to um, Ati expressing her feelings, her feelings of, you know, being trapped. Being the firstborn, she has certain duties that she has to fulfill. And um, it is as if her life has slipped by her and she's just she's just feeling as if she is she has failed. You know, she has failed, she has failed herself because she hasn't she there's nothing. She there's nothing. She spent her life taking care of um, others and it's as if her life, her her welfare, her well being was pushed to the back burner and now that she is advancing in age it's as if it, it is just nothing for her you know so um let's just look at at how she expresses those things in um those chapters do you think martine is going to pay them a visit these are some things that we can consider for chapter 22 and onwards um See what's, what's, what's gonna happen. Alright, okay. right, so chapter this is chapter 22. Right. Okay. So chapter 22. The next morning, a pack of rainbow butterflies hovered around the porch. I was sitting on the steps, watching the sunrise behind the shack-spotted hills. My grandmother's face was powdered with ashes as she left the house. She lowered a black veil over her face as she twirled a rosary between her fingers. The baby let out a sudden cry from Tante T's room. I rushed in. Tante T was pacing as she carried her around the room. Bridget stretched out her hands when she saw me. She pressed her face down on my neck when I held her against my body. Did the old woman leave for the cemetery? Tante T asked. Is that where she's going? She's going to pay her last respects to Dessalines. Bridget clawed my neck with her fingernails. You and Louise, you're very close, aren't you? I asked Tante T. When you have a good friend, she said, you must hold her with both hands. It will be hard for you when she leaves, won't it? I will miss her like my own skin. My grandmother had her veil on her arm as she walked back towards the house. Eliab ran to her and took a heavy bundle from her hand. He pulled out its contents, sniffing the coconuts before setting them down. Did you have a nice visit to the cemetery? I asked. There are two ways to go to the cemetery. One is on your two feet, the other is in a box. Each way, it is a large travail. Where is your Tante Ati? She is visiting with Louise. Why do I even ask? She picked up a machete from under the porch and chopped a green coconut in half. Elia pushed an open gird beneath the coconut and caught the cloudy liquid flowing out of it. My grandmother carved out the flesh with a spoon and stuffed it in her mouth. She chopped another coconut and brought it over to me. The coconut milk spilled all over my chest as I raised the shell to my lips. My daughter reached up to grab the coconut. My grandmother and Eliab sat on an old tree stump sharing the soft mush inside the coconut. My grandmother threw some at the pig, which it leaped up to swallow. Tantati did not come home for supper. My grandmother and I ate in the yard while Bridget slept in a blanket in my arms. My grandmother was watching a light move between two distant points on the hill. Do you see that light moving yonder? She asked, pointing to the traveling lantern. 
do you know why it goes to and fro like that she was concentrating on the shift her pupils traveling with each movement so it's a baby she said a baby is being born the midwife is taking trips from the shack to the yard where the pot is boiling soon we will know whether it is a boy or a girl how will we know that if it is a boy the light will stay on if there is a man he will stay awake all night with the new child what if it's a girl if it's a girl the midwife will cut the child's cord and go home the mother will be left in the darkness to hold her daughter there will be no lamps no candles no more light we waited the light went out in the house about an hour later by that time my grandmother had dozed off another little girl had come into the world hi guys if you are with me up to this point please like share subscribe leave your comments in the comment section um i hope you've been enjoying the the story and uh, the reading continues so see you for chapter 20